guys, I just wanted to do a quick analysis of uh, the suburbs. Chord analysis. So, the suburbs is super simple. It uses four different chords. Uh, I'm not sure what key it's in actually, but we'll just we'll just analyze it in in, uh, in C major to to, to, uh, to keep it simple. So you have C, B minor, E major, G, right? And you have that little. So out of the four chords, you have one that really sticks out, right? Which one is it? Now the E major sticks out because it doesn't belong to the C major scale, right? What scale does it belong to? Well, it's the A major scale, but it's reinterpreted as it belongs to the A major scale and it belongs to the A minor scale, kind of. You've got you've to give that extra leading tone to make it part of A minor, right? The G sharp. So what's happening here? And the reason why they can repeat these four chords over and over for the whole song and literally never get tired of them is because it's kind of a trick progression. And it's something I like to call a circular progression. It's a progression in which you're not really in either C major or A minor. You're kind of somewhere in between because you're switching too quickly to tell the difference. So, in the suburbs I, so you feel like you're in C major, learn to try, and you kind of, when you get that E major, it's jarring, because, well, you thought you were in C major, but suddenly you get a key, that's a, you, get a, you get a chord that's away from the key, so then you end up somewhere else. You're supposed to end up in A minor, but then again you get G major. So now you're really confused because you have E major, G major, and you're like, oh my god, am I in A minor or am I going back to C? So until we get that C again, uh, you're, you're, you're actually uh, you're back at C, kind of. The C doesn't feel, no, the, the, the genius of the song is that none of these chords feel like they're actually home, which is perfect for what? It's perfect for a memory, right? Nostalgia is the key, is, is the core theme of the song. So again, my, my whole plan in these videos is to, is to abolish the idea that you can just turn anything into art or anything into music. There's always a reason, uh, at the fundamental. There's a reason in the way that the harmony so perfectly mimics what's being said. And that's, that's, that's really the beauty of art. The art is a, is a, is a giant mirror on life. And uh, hopefully we see things in it that that we, we miss when we're when we're looking over through through our own eyes. So yes, you have C, A minor, E major, G. That's what I would call a circular progression. And uh, if we talk a bit about let's talk a bit about arrangements. So we have that the this, the uh, strings up top doing. belongs to every one of those four chords in a very different way. So the first chord is a seven, right? A major seven. And the second chord, it's a ninth. And the third chord, it's the fifth. And it's the third. That's why the song is so fucking beautiful, is because that one note at the top keeps getting reinterpreted. And your brain likes that. Your brain likes being shocked that way all the time. So you have all of a sudden. So you're kind of in between these uh, these two key areas always, and uh, and if you're writing nostalgic music, it's 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 a it's a great trick. It's a trick we see also in in the Nationals, Pink Rabbits, right? Uh, I come from quiet and I'm alone in the rain I was just smoking my head to a rattle my brain Right? In there we start on a minor key But we're really in a major key We're really in G And again that chord progression is used in another song By Hamilton Lighthouser It's used in a thousand times Again, same affect 
the affect of loss, the affect of nostalgia, remembering, wanting something back. Uh, it's always a battle. It's like that internal battle of the, your, your present moment versus the nostalgia. So there's a battle harmonically. There's the battle of you're, you're in a key, but you're really in a separate key, which is, is your memory, right? So that's a bit, that's a, just a quick short analysis of, of the suburbs, the chords that are, are happening in the suburbs. And, and really I'm trying to promote this type of, this type of analysis because it's cool. You know, it's, you really, you really start to understand why songs affect you the way they do because, because harmony is, is, uh, tonal harmony is, 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 has, Leonard Bernstein would say, rooted in earth. Uh, Leonard Bernstein quoting Kipling, and it's 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 a it's a primitive and elegant thing, and it it affects you a certain way, and uh, it's better for us to understand these concepts using that language. Uh, thanks. Stay tuned for the next video. And subscribe and listen to the podcast, and please comment and uh, uh, you know message us with uh, with any questions or concerns. Be happy to uh, to expand on everything we talk about here.